Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kathy Jarvis and today we're in the little greenhouse looking at our cucumbers and we have a problem. They are wilting. Now, there's a couple of reasons that they can be wilting. They can be wilting because of heat and not having enough water. They can be wilting because of physical damage where someone's broken off a piece and it's just wilted away. They can have bug damage or they can have a disease. Now the bugs that we can look at for are aphids, spider mites, cucumber beetle, beetles, and squash bugs. The diseases that we can have is bacterial wilt, which is carried by the cucumber beetle, or yellow vine disease, which is carried by the squash bug. And this, I'll show you what the wilted ones look like. See how the leaves are wilted? I've removed some of them already. But I ruled out heat, stress, and water because of the ones next to it, which are doing fine. So that leaves um, most likely um, bug damage. And I have looked around and I have found a squash bug. Now what are squash bugs? Squash bugs look an awful lot like stink bugs and they're very similar in appearance. They both smell awful when you smash them but the difference is the squash bug has a more oblong body where a a stink bug is more oval and rounded and the um, squash bug is fairly large it's about a half inch in length and it's usually brownish or blackish gray and they have a flat back to them whereas the squash bug has a little bit of a raised bed and the underside of them can have orange stripes on the stomach area and they can fly the younger ones are gray with black legs and they lay their eggs on the underside of the plant leaf and usually it's a little cluster of 12 or so and they're iridescent bronze color okay now we got a couple of things to do now that we found out what they are one of the best things we've been was we've been to pre prevent them in the first place and that means basically well, at the end of the season clearing all the vines out and making sure that uh, there's nothing left over here in the winter which was one of my mistakes because last year if you remember correctly in october i had a health problem and i didn't couldn't get out here to take care of them as quickly as i should have which allowed them to find hiding places in here for over winter a second way of preventing them is to do crop rotation I had cucumbers in here last year and I probably should have put nightshade or uh, type of plants in here this year which would have been tomatoes or potatoes or something like that. Another way to prevent them is to plant companion plants. Now, I planted some marigolds which are supposed to help but they have not done a great job this year. Other plants that help is dill and nastasiums. Um, and plant varieties that they don't like. Uh, they don't like butternut squash. They don't like acorn squash. They really, cucumbers are not their favorite, but they will go for it. They prefer zucchinis and pumpkins and melons and cucumbers, those type of plants. But now that I've got them, I've got to figure out how to get rid of them. And one of the ways I can use is neem oil or I can use an insecticidal soap, or I can use um, diatomaceous earth. And I'm going to go with the soap first and see if that works. And then we'll go from there. Another thing that I've been doing that also helps prevent them is to trellis your plants upright because they like to live in the soil, 
I like to live on the bottom leaves between the earth and the soil. So that's another thing that we're going to be doing today is weeding this area very well. And as you can see, there's not that many weeds in here. But I do have a lot of leaves close to the ground. So we're going to be taking some of those uh, leaves out today so they don't have a place to hide. Another thing you can do is set traps for them. You can put cardboard, heavy cardboard, old shingles, or wood down around the base at the evening. And the bugs will go under those at night. And then in the morning you can come over and flip the boards over and smash the bugs. And that will help can, um, control them. So, that is the plan for today. I am going to make sure these are trellised up. Remove all the old dead leaves. Because once the leaves are wilted to this point, they're not going to come back. I'm going to take out any damaged leaf. Leaves are on the bottom. Try to trail everything upward. And try to get as much off the ground as I can. And hopefully they don't spread to this side. So you can see there's already a few yellow spots and stuff. So that's what we're going to be working on. So I'll get that done and I'll be back and show you the finished results. Okay, I found some eggs. And this is what they look like. And here is another squash bug, and you can see the orange on this side of its underneath its wings, like I was talking about. So, unfortunately, I got a lot of squash bugs off of this side, so I will have to spray this side as well and keep an eye on it. I have not trimmed up the bottom yet on this. I don't want to take any leaves off of this side too much until I get them under control. I took the worst leaves off, but not all of them. This side, which was really bad and a lot of them had already died, I went ahead and took the leaves that were touching the ground. I took them off and we'll treat this with the insecticidal soap and hopefully that will do the job. If not, We'll come back with neem oil. So I hope you've so I hope you've learned something about squash bugs and how to control them, and how to get rid of them. Um, like I said, today I went through and I manually by hand got rid of them and got rid of the eggs. And we'll come in and we'll use some insecticide on them and we'll just keep an eye on them and hopefully we'll get this under control so if you learned anything give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost anything i'm usually on mondays and thursdays and i have another channel that comes on on friday which is called cat jarvis only cat jarvis yes kt not c a k and um, go to top over there and see if you like that one too. And um, remember, dream big and follow that dream. Bye.